America has always been anti-us. America has been lifted up and built off of being anti-us. America has achieved great success off of being anti-us. So the question becomes, since when did they become the bearers of light? When did they become the gatekeepers of goodness? When did they become the holders of integrity? When did they become the image of holiness? When did they become the practitioners of justice? Or when did they become the speakers of truth? And the answer is never. But they have somehow convinced the world they are everything else but evil dressed in a suit and a tie. Jeremiah 24 verse 9. And I will deliver them to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt. That's why we're facing that pain in this place we call America. To be a reproach and a proverb and a taunt and a curse in all places where the eye shall drive them. Now, we're trying to figure out who we are. As soon as we start speaking some truth, they say, you anti-Semitic. I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. As soon as you start getting hot and start reaching for your identity, which has been hidden from you. It has been deleted your history. You don't know who you are. Don't forget about it. This is why America has been taking your history away. Never to find out that it's all about you. That's when they start calling you anti-Semitic. But like Malcolm X said. Are you anti-Semitic? Anti-Semitic? You've uh, met many of the things that I've read about you, and you've made a mention a couple of times about the Jews and everything, and I'm wondering if you are personally anti-Semitic. No. Uh, how can I be anti-Semitic when the Arabs are semi Half the Muslim world are, is Semitic. If I was anti-Semitic, I'd be anti-Arab and anti-everything uh, else. No, I think this, that in this country, there's one mistake that the Jews make. Uh, they put themselves in a position where whenever anybody gives an objective analysis of the role that they play, uh, they defend themselves by accusing you of being anti-Semitic. And, and uh, a Negro is not anti-Semitic when he says that the, the man who's exploiting him in his community is white because it is a white man who owns all the stores. Now, is it a, an accident that these whites who own these stores are Jewish? If it's an accident, then uh, the fact that he says the Jew on the corner is exploiting me isn't an anti-Semitic statement. It's just more descriptive of the man who's exploiting him. See, these people are crafty, but they're not that smart. They forgot to factor in the people over there, the Arabs over there, who are Semitic, Shemitic. Okay? They forgot that. They're not that smart. But, Ecclesiasticus 11.31, For he lieth in wait, and turneth good into evil, because we are really the Semitic people. Babylon and Timbuktu, okay, by Rudolf Windsor, page 19. All the children of Shem were black. They've turned that good into evil. And in things worthy praise, like us being happy about being Shemitic, or we should be happy that we are Shemitic, worthy of praise, will lay blame upon you. Label them anti-Semitic. After enough repetition, become fact in the public mind. Oh, you're anti-Semitic. You're anti-Semitic. Oh, you're calling yourself a Jew? You're anti-Semitic because there's no way you could be a Jew or a Hebrew or God's chosen. You see that? Very crafty folks because America is anti-Semitic. If you would like to check out the documentary, hit the link below. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove.